we usually say that uh, crisis is uh, the model of invention to be that way uh, but the sheer scale of this uh, of the breakdown of the monetary union if that happens and that's not what we expect to happen uh, the consequences will be so grave that it will be what we would call a new game, especially in the banking system in the, uh, worldwide. A lot of value has emerged over the last two years and there has not been less this year. It's, uh, people are getting much more careful in the selection of companies. We have also been more careful in selection of companies. We do not like to own companies where there are serious uncertainty about the financing situation. Uh, we do not own companies which in general terms will be exposed to a banking turmoil. Uh, that means that we have been maybe more careful than we usually are in uh, what we call crisis times. And I think uh, we have to be prudent in this case and take uh, very much care of the values. We are, of course, looking for values uh, in what happened in this market situation. And we still have our air to the ground and we still have, have our investment philosophy. Uh, and that is also our tool, tools going forward. Uh, I think uh, we, of the last four or five years, we have been rather careful with the uh, companies who have financing problems because we have not trusted the banking system as such since 2007. Uh, we know at some stage in the course of the next year uh, there will be some opportunities as we saw back in 2009 uh, but we are not ready to th th this time we, we are trying to keep our level of risk at a measured level. Uh, in many ways, a lot of these countries had an inflationary problem in, in the beginning of the year, they had tightened policy. Uh, inflation is on its way down in most markets, uh, with a few notable exceptions. Uh, that means that uh, they can react because the, the fiscal situation is generally good. They have quite a few of these countries have, have tightened credit policy. They have room to untighten credit policy, uh, which means that they have a lot of tools in the, the box to put it that way to, to get their economies going forward. Uh, and but having said that, we are seeing in so far in fourth quarter, and we probably will see in the first quarter as well, that financing options uh, for companies has been limited and that will of course put a break on the growth further. Uh, so as we see as maybe some sort of a turning point here, we'll, we'll to see more emerging markets entering a more stimulative economic policy and I think that is pretty close seeing the situation and that's regardless what's happening in the Europe in the euro area to be said.